Hello everyone, and welcome. Today, we're going to learn how to reset your password on Zorin OS. It happens to the best of us. Forgetting passwords can be frustrating. But don't worry. This guide will walk you through the steps. This will help you regain access to your system quickly and easily. We'll cover a couple of different methods. One is using the recovery mode. The other is through a live USB or DVD. Let's get started. First, power off your Zorin OS computer. Then, power it back on. Immediately start pressing the shift key repeatedly. This should bring up the grub menu. If you don't see the grub menu, try pressing the escape key or other function keys like F2, F10, or F12. The specific key depends on your computer's manufacturer. Now, in the grub menu, use the arrow keys to navigate to advanced options for Zorin. Press enter. Next, select the recovery mode option. It usually has, recovery mode, at the end of the line. Press enter again. Your system will now boot into recovery mode. After a few moments, you'll see a menu. Use the arrow keys to navigate to root. This will give you a root shell prompt. Press enter. Now, you'll be presented with a command line interface. Type the following command, mount o remount rw slash. This command remounts the root file system with read and write permissions. This is essential for changing the password. Press enter. Then, type the command password your underscore username. Replace your underscore username with your actual Zorin OS username. For example, if your username is John, you would type password John. Press enter. You will be prompted to enter a new password. Type your new password. It won't be visible on the screen. Type it carefully. Then, press enter. You will be asked to retype the new password. Enter it again to confirm. Press enter. If the passwords match, you'll see a message indicating that the password has been updated successfully. Now, type reboot and press enter. Your computer will reboot. You can now log in with your new password. If you can't access the grub menu, or if the recovery mode method doesn't work, you can use a live USB or DVD, boot your computer from a Zorin OS live USB or DVD. Once booted into the live environment, open a terminal. You can usually find the terminal in the application's menu. In the terminal, identify your Zorin OS partition. Type sudo fdiskl. This will list all the partitions on your system. Look for the partition that contains your Zorin OS installation. It will likely be labeled as a Linux file system. Take note of the device name of the partition, such as slash dev slash sda1 or slash dev slash me 0 and 1p2. Now, mount your Zorin OS partition. Replace slash dev slash sda1 with the actual device name of your partition. Type sudo mount slash dev slash sda1 slash mnt. Next, bind mount some essential directories. Type the following commands, pressing enter after each one, sudo mount bind slash dev slash mn slash dev, sudo mount bind slash dev slash pts slash mn slash dev slash pts, sudo mount bind slash proc slash mn slash proc, sudo mount bind slash sys slash mn slash sys. Now, crud into your Zorin OS installation. Type sudo crud slash mnt. You are now operating within your installed Zorin OS environment. Change the password for your user. Type password your underscore username. Remember to replace your underscore username with your actual username. Enter your new password twice when prompted. Finally, exit the crude environment. Type exit. Unmount the directories. Type sudo amount slash m into slash dev slash pts, sudo amount slash m into slash dev, sudo amount slash m into slash proc, sudo amount slash m into slash sys, sudo amount slash m into Reboot your computer. Remove the live USB or DVD. You should now be able to log in with your new password. That's it. You have successfully reset your Zorin OS password. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this useful, please like, share, and subscribe for more Zorin OS tips and tutorials.
Consider supporting the channel through Patreon or other means if you'd like to see more content like this. Your support helps us create more helpful tutorials. Let us know in the comments what other Zoran OS topics you'd like us to cover.